Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is inter symbol and inter channel interference. It is the last topic for unit number three for the subject digital communication. An important announcement is this topic. Mein एक पार्ट है दैट इज ओ एफ डी एम और फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवीजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इसका ऑलरेडी मैंने वीडियो अपलोड किया है किसी दूसरे सब्जेक्ट के लिए आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक यू नीड टू वॉच दिस वीडियो फॉर द शॉर्ट नोट ऑन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ओ एफ डी एम यू नीड टू वॉच दिस वीडियो फ्रॉम टाइम टेन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी एट Till the end of this video, I will provide the link of this video in the description box. All right, let us start the session without wasting the time. So first, we will discuss inter-symbol interference. As the name indicates, different symbols are getting mixed up, which causes interference, which is inter-symbol interference. A diagram made I have. This is the input pulse which I want to transmit through some channel. channel is a medium through which the signal is transmitted so this is the transmission system suppose a pulse hai jiska width hai tb tb is actually the bit duration due to many reasons whenever this pulse is transmitted through the system through the channel spreading of pulse takes place so at the output you are getting the pulse like this ओरिजिनल विथ डब्ल्यू ए उससे ये विथ आई मीन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ दिस पल्स गेट्स इंक्रीज मोर देन टी बी सो इफ दिस हैपन्स इट मे हैपन दैट इट विल इंटरफियर इट विल मिक्स अप विथ द एडजेसेंट पल्स दिस इज कॉल्ड इंटर सिंबल इंटरफेरेंस इसके बहुत सारे रीजन है जो हम लोग डिटेल में डिस्कस करने वाले मेजर रीजन इज If channel bandwidth, bandwidth is the range of frequency. Channel मतलब जिसके थ्रू हम पल्स ट्रांसमिट कर रहे हैं इफ चैनल बैंडविथ इज ग्रेटर देन पल्स बैंडविथ देन स्प्रेडिंग इज लेस वेर एज इफ चैनल बैंडविथ इज अप्रोक्सिमेटली इक्वल टू पल्स बैंडविथ देन स्प्रेडिंग इज मोर दीज आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स अब देखो मेजर पैरामीटर ये है कि वेन एवर यू आर ट्रांसमिटिंग अ पल्स थ्रू एनी चैनल थ्रू सम मीडियम आई मीन थ्रू सम ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम देन देर आर डिफरेंट फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट इन द गिवन पल्स एवरी फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट इज एटोनेटेड बाई डिफरेंट अमाउंट एटोनेशन मीन्स रिडक्शन इन द सिग्नल सो सम ऑफ द फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट मे गेट्स डिलेड वेल रीचिंग एट द आउटपुट compared to the other frequency components this again causes interference another reason could be there are different filters used in the system again if even if noise is absent the filter may cause the increase in the width of uh, pulse that is pulse duration gets increased which causes inter symbol interference so definition is spreading of pulse beyond its interval this interval in the present case is tb causes interference with the neighboring pulses which is called inter symbol interference now let us discuss what are different causes of inter symbol interference from the exo point of view we may expect the question like this what is inter symbol interference and what are the causes of inter symbol interference so i have made a list of three important uh, reasons or three important causes which produces inter symbol interference jaise hum logo ne discuss kiya inter symbol interference matlab spreading of pulse takes place and because of which it gets interfered with the neighboring pulse so first reason is multi path propagation as the name indicates the different components of the incoming signal are traveling through different path jaise ek parallel example main aap logo ko bata deta hu जैसे एक सिग्नल है एक फ्रीक्वेंसी कंपोनेंट है द कंपोनेंट वन कंपोनेंट इज ट्रैवलिंग लाइक दिस व्हेन ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम ट्रांसमीटर टू द रिसीवर वेयर एज सेकेंड कंपोनेंट मे ट्रैवल लाइक दिस सो दीज टू कंपोनेंट्स विल नॉट ट्रैवल द सेम डिस्टेंस सो देर विल बी सम काइंड ऑफ डिले बिकॉज ऑफ विच ऑल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर नॉट रीचिंग एट द रिसीवर एट द सेम टाइम this causes dispersion of pulse and it is the reason of inter symbol interference this basically produces amplitude and phase distortions amplitude means reduction in the signal phase means just now we discussed the concept of phase that means it causes delay in some uh, pulses at the receiver side then second cause is band limited channel 
every channel has its own frequency response jaise ek channel hai iska frequency response ye aise hai so whatever frequencies are there whatever incoming frequencies are there which are in this band they will be transmitted without any attenuation this is called cut off frequency this point so after this cut off frequency this is of course ideal graph practically is type ka graph aata hai uh, after this cut off uh, frequency the attenuation of signal components takes place the attenuation will takes place like this whereas in this band all the components will pass as it is so channel whose frequency response is zero above cut off frequency matlab ideally ye cut off frequency iske baad channel ka frequency response zero hota hai so frequency components above cut off frequency are attenuated it changes shape of pulses which causes intersymbol interference next timing in accuracy as the name indicates there is some time difference so transmission rate is not matching with the frequency response of channel because of this again spreading of pulse takes place which cause intersymbol interference next part is remedies to reduce isi or question may be like this what are remedies to reduce isi or what are the ideal solutions to reduce intersymbol interference isi means intersymbol interference so these are the general types of solutions first is make use of root raised cosine filters that is rrc ye part hum log detail mein discuss karne wale is session mein so in this case instead of transmitting a rectangular pulse some sync type of pulse is transmitted we know that sync function is like this this type of pulse is transmitted it avoids uh, the intersymbol interference so we are going to study it in detail second use some guard intervals it is same as using a guard bands matlab message ka kuch part hai usko zero karenge zero bit karenge so that it will not interfere with the next message or neighboring message because if anything will get mixed up with zero that thing will remain as it is so part of message signal is made zero that means we have to provide certain guard intervals then next is high order modulation technique in this case bit rate is increased so that the information contained per symbol will be more will be increased next use maximum likelihood estimation this is the concept of estimation means uh if even if there are distortions or losses or intersymbol interference you will have to use certain estimation technique so that you can recover the signal and last is make use of equalizers equalizers are the devices especially used to reduce amplitude and phase distortions next part is ideal nyquist channel to obtain zero isi that means zero intersymbol interference As the name indicates, this is the ideal concept. अब देखो, अगर हम लोगों को intersymbol interference zero करना है, तो we need to make use of this type of waveform. This is the waveform related to ideal Nyquist channel, and this is the waveform of frequency response of ideal Nyquist channel, whose width is from minus w to plus w, and amplitude is one by two w. So this is the graph of p of f versus f. f is the frequency. so mathematically we can say if the response of channel is p of s is 1 by 2 w whose range is from minus w to plus w and equals to zero otherwise so p of s since this is a rectangular pulse hum logo ne signal science systems mein learn kiya hai agar rectangular pulse hai to iska mathematical equation aise likhte hai one matlab yahan pe amplitude likhte hai amplitude is 1 by 2 w rect rect that is the nature of this pulse in the bracket f by 2 w because this graph is with respect to frequency in this case w is overall system bandwidth now there is one more notation which is called rb that is the bit interval and rb is 1 by tb tb is the bit duration so if you put this value i mean w is overall system bandwidth so w can be written as rb upon 2 so put the value of this rb that is 1 by tb so it becomes 1 by 2 uh, tb this is the equation of overall system bandwidth ab dekho ye jo graph hai ye frequency domain mein matlab with respect to frequency do remember one basic concept 
रेक्टेंगुलर सिग्नल है तो उसका फोरियर सिंक आता है एंड इफ इन द फ्रिक्वेंसी डोमेन वी हैव रेक्टेंगुलर पल्स लाइक दिस या फ्रिक्वेंसी डोमेन का है इफ यू टेक इनवर्स फोरियर तो टाइम डोमेन में सिंक वेव फॉर्म आएगा सो दिस टाइप ऑफ वेव फॉर्म यू विल बी गेडिंग इसका मतलब ये है एक्चुअली हम लोगों को अगर इंटर सिंबल इंटरफेरेंस कॉम्पेंसेट करना है कैंसल करना है तो वी नीड टू ट्रांसमिट दिस सिंक पल्स एज सच प्रैक्टिकली नंबर ऑफ सिंक पल्सेस मस्ट बी ट्रांसमिटेड सो दैट देर विल नॉट बी एनी इंटर सिंबल इंटरफेरेंस ये सिंक फंक्शन का आइडियल डायग्राम है जीरो पे एम्पलीट्यूड वन होता है एट बोथ साइड एम्पलीट्यूड गोज ऑन रिड्यूसिंग लाइक दाइनोसोडियल वेव ये जो जीरो क्रॉसिंग पॉइंट्स है मतलब जहां पे ये ग्राफ जीरो लाइन को टच करता है दीज आर जीरो क्रॉसिंग पॉइंट विच इंडिकेट सैम्पलिंग इंस्टेंट बट दिस इज द आइडियल सोल्यूशन प्रैक्टिकली सच टाइप ऑफ फिल्टर और सच टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम इज नॉट पॉसिबल आई मीन इट इज प्रैक्टिकली इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू रियलाइज टू बिल्ड अप टू डिजाइन सच सिस्टम सो वी हैव टू थिंक सम प्रैक्टिकल सोल्यूशन टू रिड्यूस द आई एस आई we have discussed that practically it's difficult to implement ideal solution which we discussed for uh, nyquist channel so practical solution to avoid inter symbol interference is raised cosine spectrum ye important part hai agar iske liye short note aata hai to you need to first write the explanation of ideal uh, nyquist uh, channel what we discussed right now and then we need to continue for raised cosine spectrum so what we discussed practically it's not possible to design ideal system so this is the practical system this is called raised cosine spectrum ab dekho ye jo red ink se maine banaya ye ideal graph hai ideal nyquist se related graph hai there is a sharp cut off yahan pe jo hai ye straight line it indicates a sharp cut off so practically it is not possible to obtain such sharp cut offs to avoid the intersymbol interference so practically system contains this type of response matlab ye jo curved lines hai this type of response and somewhere it is flat in the middle portion so the amount by which the attenuation or this is called roll off roll off takes place is indicated by the value of alpha so if alpha is 1 half you are getting the graph shown by the ink pen then if alpha is equals to 1 this is the graph shown by the black pen that means there is no sharp cut off so in if you use such pulses for the transmission instead of using ideal pulses then the there are chances that intersymbol interference will be reduced now this is the mathematical expression of p of f p of f is the frequency response for raised cosine or it is also called raised cosine spectrum spectrum means graph with respect to frequency to ye fourier domain mein graph hai it is some kind of rectangle dekho ye ideal graph hai ye rectangular hai clear these other graphs which are called raised cosine spectrum are almost rectangular only there is uh, only the thing is that there is a roll off factor which is uh, denoted by notation alpha now this is the graph in frequency domain if you plot the graph in time domain then in time domain you will be getting sink wave form so i have drawn three sink wave forms corresponding to alpha 0 alpha is equals to 1 and alpha equals to 1 half so we just now discussed alpha is equals to 0 is the ideal uh, solution uh, which is not the practical solution now similar to this similar to inter symbol interference there is a concept of inter channel interference in practical systems many channels are used for the transmission of signal so if the overlapping takes place between two adjacent channels overlapping of signal takes place between two consecutive adjacent channels then it is called inter channel interference so dear students that's it for today's session but without fail do watch the video of ofdm for which i will provide the link uh, in the description box so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video